Hi everyone, Andy Ireland here and coming to you in another beautiful day in paradise we call Livingston and it's actually opportune at the moment because we've got the backdrop here of the lagoon and I just wanted to um, refresh everybody's memory in relation to the restrictions in relation to COVID-19 coming off as of uh, lunchtime today uh, but we would also as council ask everyone to be cognizant and remember the social distancing rules. So a lot of our facilities will be open now for larger numbers, but we are just asking everyone to be mindful of the social distancing rules. That way we all remain safe. There'll be no transmission of COVID-19 within central Queensland. So that's, uh, that's the ideal and that's what we want. Um, also like to take the opportunity to make some commentary around the budget. We've been working on the budget now for a number of weeks and our proposition is that we will deliver it on or around the 31st of July this year. Now there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes in putting a budget together. And it was recently reported by Win News that we were going to bring in a 2.2% rate increase. Now that wasn't true. 2.2% um, is currently what CPI is running at. That's not necessarily what council is going to bring down in the way of a rates increase. So we will continue to work to try and minimise whatever cost increases to our residents we have. But uh, I'll flag right now that we'll probably have to have a small rate increase. We will attempt to keep it as low as possible around CPI. And the simple reason we have to do that is because if we don't increase our costs in line with the cost that council uh, incur, so if we don't increase our rates in line with the cost that council incur, council goes backwards, in other words, you go backwards. So we then have a decision as to whether we cut services uh, or what our other choices may be in relation to that. But certainly uh, we're looking at bringing the budget down with a very healthy capital works program going forward and also trying to reduce our debt while keeping our rate increase as low as possible. Um, the other uh, exciting thing we're, we're, we're doing at the moment is um, we'll, we're on the 10th and the 14th of this month, we're going, uh, we being the councillors, on our bus trip around the Shire. Now this is important for us because when you are looking at bringing down a budget and making decisions around capital investment and where you spend, where we spend your money uh, and things like roads, uh, bridges, water treatment plants, sewage treatment plants, parks, gardens, etc. then it's very important for us to understand what it is we're actually making a decision on. And the best way to do that is to actually get out there and have a look at it. So all of our councillors and some of our key staff are going on bus trips on the 10th and the 14th around the Shire to have a look at uh, our infrastructure and get a better understanding of what it is that we're potentially spending money on. So if you see us out and about, give us a wave, we'll give you a wave back and uh, hopefully we might be able to uh, spend a bit of time catching up with you. Um, so, and just wanted to finish off by saying, look, very appreciative of all those people that came to our resident reach um, session last Saturday at the uh, Yapoon Community Markets. We had a great time. We were busy for five hours, which was fantastic because it means lots of people came up and said hello, some brought issues, some had questions, and we were very, very delighted to be able to be there and, uh, and uh, uh, have that interface with you. So for the future ones, uh, please make sure you come along and say hello, and we look forward to catching up. Until next time.